You are back on BTN Live. Rick Pizzo and Glenn Mason, guy who spent a year or two in Columbus. Pretty easy place to recruit to, right? Well, I wouldn't say it's easy, but you have a lot of advantages because I think any time that you can get the majority of your players in state, right in your own backyard, and that's the case with Ohio State, there's too many good players in that state for them to take them all. Ohio State was number one on the rankings of recruiting appeal of all Big Ten schools. This ranking done by BTN.com senior writer Tom Deanhart, who joins us now on the phone. Tom, give me an idea before we work through your list of the criteria that went into your selections. Well, yeah, you know, Rick, it's obviously highly subjective, but I tried to look at things. Uh, you know, one of them was what Coach Mason talked about, what was the recruiting base that your school sits in. Uh, again, I look at tradition, I look at history. I look at facilities, um, you know, recent success, uh, you know, things of that nature were, were sort of some of the criteria I considered when trying to rank these schools on their recruiting appeal. Well, you know, hey, Tom, when I look at that list, the first thing that jumped out at me as a former coach, how in the world did you rate the University of Michigan number four? Now, wait a minute. you got to realize they've got over 900 wins. They're the winningest college football program. They're the first school outside the Ivy League to win over 600 games. They play in the big house. They have a national name, and you got them number four. I, I don't quite agree with you there. That's okay. You know, behind Ohio State one, Penn State two, and Nebraska three. So those are three pretty good schools above them. And honestly, I feel real good about Ohio State, Penn State one, two, Nebraska, Michigan. I mean, the, the, to me, that was a real razor's edge decision there. A lot of it has to do with, with, with more so Nebraska's. Uh, I, I think they've had more success the last 20 years than, than Michigan has when you look at the run the team had in, in the 1990s as well. I think their facilities, you know, Rick and Coach Mace, I think the Nebraska facilities are all the charts better, better than Michigan's facilities. And, you know, you know, Coach Mason talked about the big house, 100,000 people. And, you know, it's great, but I tell you what, it's really not – an electric atmosphere. Uh, I really don't think the game they experience there compares to what you're going to find in a place like Nebraska in particular, or Ohio State for that matter. Now, Tom, you had Penn State at number two. Certainly a lot of tradition, of course. The Jerry Sandusky scandal of a couple of years ago. Now another new coach with Bill O'Brien out and James Franklin in. Did any of those recent factors get included into your decision-making here? To a degree, um, but... I think the totality of the package of Penn State that a guy like James Franklin can take on the road and sell in a lot of ways is able to even outweigh some of those recent negatives of the Sandusky scheme that you alluded to. Um, once again, uh, the, the facilities there are, are top-notch. You know, Beaver Stadium is a great venue. And for what it's worth, and this was something else I considered in making these rankings, was, was actually the campus as well and the setting. And the lifestyle, I tell you what, guys, you're like me. You've been to every Big Ten campus, every Big Ten stadium for a game. In my book, there's nothing. I don't think any city, college town can really match, um, you know, State College, PA, except for maybe Madison, Wisconsin. Well, you know, uh, uh, Tom, I normally agree with you on a lot of things. On this list, there's a lot of disagreements. You know, the one thing when I look at, at Nebraska, and they've got unbelievable facilities, but when you look at the, the population, the in-state number of players, nah. And you think of tradition, and we think about the Nebraska tradition, really their heyday was back in the old Big 8 conference, and there was a world of difference in the Big 8 conference and then the Big 12 and, and now, you know, the Big 10. Um, I agree with you with, with, with Penn State. Um, I like Michigan. Um, you got some good schools there. I think Wisconsin's got a great atmosphere. I really like Michigan State uh, mm -hmm. in there because of the proximity that they have to in-state players and the state of Ohio where there's a wealth of talent. Because those are great points. And um, in my mind, I know Michigan State fans don't want to hear it. But to me, Michigan, Michigan State, so from now until eternity, Michigan's probably always going to be the choice of most in that battle. And one negative to each of those jobs is the fact that they're, they obviously compete against each other in the same state for all that talent. Uh, when you look at a school like Wisconsin, you look at a school like Nebraska, um, you know, those schools are, are a couple of examples where that, that's their entire state. They are the only major football playing program in this state. There's no competition. So I think that's an advantage. And Coach Mason talked about Nebraska. You know, there's probably 
three legit D1 players in that fit every year, so you do have to cast a big net. And that's one disadvantage to that Nebraska job, I think, is the fact that you really do have to recruit from coast to coast to fill out that roster. Finally, Tom, we'll let the viewers take a look at your bottom six, the second half in terms of recruiting appeal of Big Ten schools. I'm wondering from that bottom six, whether it's Indiana, who's had a couple of good years, Northwestern, who seems to be recruiting different athletes, Minnesota success this year, which of those teams do you think is most likely to move up this board in the next couple of years? Well, again, you know, Minnesota and Coach Mason can speak to this, offers uh, a few unique things that no other Big Ten school can offer. Yes, Columbus, Ohio is a big city, but, but there's no city uh, as far as a Big Ten campus goes that, that, that's in that type of a metro area, and I think that's something unique that Minnesota can sell. The new stadium up there is outstanding. I mean, it's, uh, you, know, you guys have been there like I have, an incredible facility. The one negative that to really make that job even better is if Coach Kiel can get some of those facilities he wants built. So it may be kind of neat to see what, what Coach Mason says and may, maybe some of the things you used on the road when you recruited for the Gophers. Tom Deanart, BTN.com senior writer. Always good stuff. Tommy, you're welcome anywhere you want. Maybe not Ann Arbor right now. Your passport <laughs> may actually stop you on the outskirts of town. Any other Big Ten city, though, you know they love you. He's the only uh, guy that doesn't like the big house in the world. I'll have to wear my Rick Pizzo mask to get in town. You got it, buddy. Thanks, Tommy. You bet.